Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Enes and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment and also each message on my Instagram. And if you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to find the best hidden interest for Facebook ads. And I will tell you why you shouldn't always trust the Facebook ads for your interest or targeting keywords because simply they're trying to make money same as us so when you do a targeting based on interest or keyword so when you do type in a keyword on their interest search bar you will get a lot of interests that's similar to that thing or the keyword that you did type in and the first ones will be the bigger audiences however that's not always the case as i said facebook wants to make money so the first ones he will show you are the ones with the higher CPM and higher CPC. So when you advertise based on those interests and you try to target them with your product or service or whatever you do targeting for, it will be more expensive for you. And even though if you do make some sales and you had some success, you will calculate the profit and so on, you will see yourself making pennies or very little money or nothing at all. So all the money or all the profits goes to Facebook, the giant, which is not something really to be uh, surprised boy it's a company that owns by mark Zuckerberg, and we all know who is that and what he is capable of so in both cases you make money or you don't facebook wins but we have some tools and we have some access to information so you can get more hidden interest and you can a little bit make your uh, targeting or advertising uh, cheaper because as i said this interest that facebook show you at the top there will always be the highest cpm and highest cpc and as i said even if you make some sales, it might not be profitable. And the second advantage of targeting hidden interests that people don't know about or very little advertisers use is because those audiences will not be saturated and those audiences will not be will not have a higher competition with other advertisers. So your success rate will be much higher using those interests. And that's obviously why they are cheaper because lesser advertisers means cheaper CPM and CPC. And without any more talking, let's just get to it. What I'm going to share today in this video is a really unique tool. I did find like a couple of years ago and I did use it and it really did help me out to find some hidden interests. Here it is. So this tool is owned by a, uh, an agency called uh, Agent Scout. As you can see, I'm not familiar with them or anything like that. I just like this tool because it did help me a lot. And most importantly, as you can see, it says here, it's completely 100% free. And it has some limitation. If you search too much, it will ask you to create an account. And that's really obvious and that's always the case when it comes to free tools. So it's pretty easy and straightforward and really easy to use this tool. All you need to do is simply you see a search bar here. For example, let's just go for a keyword here. Uh, as I said, I don't script my videos. I don't know what to go for. I'm going to type in her dogs. I saw a really cute dog yesterday. So I'm going to type in dogs and after that you did type in a keyword that's related to your niche in the search bar right here simply hit enter and give it a couple of seconds and here we go it will show you a bunch of other uh, interested or keywords that have uh, to do with dogs and most importantly they are hidden ones so Facebook does not like to show you this because as I said, they have a lower CPM and lower CPC and they will make a little bit of money of them. They want you to target the expensive ones so they can make a lot of money, obviously. And in the page here, you should see the audience size, the lower side, which is uh, almost a million and the upper side, which is like a million and a hundred thousand results. So this is not accurate, it's just, just an estimation, obviously, but it should give you an idea about your targeting and so on. And then topic here, it says the, the topic that has to do with the keyword. So you don't mistake a, a keyword or interest for something that's not related to your niche or product. So if we scroll down here, you should see a bunch of them as you can see here. And they are not all have to do with dogs because they can get some, as you can see here, it says pink, the hot dog. <laughs> This has nothing to do with dogs, but you get the idea. This is really simple to spot. It doesn't require any knowledge or something like that. As you can see here, oh, it says sleeping dogs. Yeah, the video game. I remember this game. Yeah, this is it. It was released in 2012. Yeah, it's a really good game. It's like the equivalent of uh, Grand Theft Auto, but it's a Chinese version. As you can see, yeah, it's a really cool game. I grew up with this game. Anyway, I'm getting drifted again. So as you can see, it will give you a bunch of other uh, options that has to do with dogs and also multiple pages in case there is more keywords or interests to check out. So use this tool combined with the tool they provide you in Facebook ad library to get more interests so you can 
lower your cost of advertising and most importantly as i said you target niches or keywords that are not saturated or are not uh, really known to advertisers i did use this earlier and it did help me a lot so if this video did help you as well make sure to hit that like button i would really appreciate it otherwise i take my job it is done so as i said if you guys have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop in below check out my instagram right here otherwise i'll see you in the next one